Okay, so um, you share this audio with me. Revolt Against the Spirit of the Age. And wow, even just the title, you know. It's powerful. It is. It's like it, it, intense. It makes you kind of stop and think, what exactly are we are we supposed to be revolting against? Yeah. I think it hits on something that uh, we all kind of feel, you know, every era, every generation, it has these dominant beliefs. It has trends, yeah. Wow. Yeah, these trends, these almost unspoken rules. Right, like the air we breathe, we don't even notice it. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, those beliefs, those trends, they might not line up with our own personal convictions, our own internal compass. And that's where things get interesting. Yeah, yeah, totally. And this audio clip, it seems to be saying, don't just blindly follow, don't just accept Embrace that clash, that tension between what you're being told and what you feel deep down. Absolutely. It's suggesting that true authenticity, it comes from examining those dominant narratives, those spirits of the age, as the title puts it, and deciding for yourself if they resonate with what you believe to be true and right and good. And it's not always easy, right? No, not at all. Because going against the grain, questioning the things everyone else seems to accept, that takes courage. And the imagery in this clip, it really brings that struggle to life. There's talk about uh, sacred rhythm and carrying a torch of faith through the shadows. It's powerful stuff. It is. It's evocative. And I think it speaks to that internal battle, that wrestling match we often have within ourselves. It's not always about grand outward gestures of rebellion. Right. It's about quietly, stubbornly holding on to your own convictions, even when they're not popular, when they make you feel alone, like a single torch bear in the dark. You're giving me chills. <laughs> and speaking of internal battles, there's that part in the clip where they mention Romans 12.2, the whole transformed by the renewing of your mind thing. Yeah. What's the significance of that in this whole revolt idea? Right, right. Well, I think that's a key point because it shows us that this isn't just about rejecting external pressures, you mm. know. It's not enough to say I'm against the spirit of the age. It's deeper than that. It is. It has to be about an internal transformation as well. It's about consciously, actively shaping your own worldview, defining your values, instead of letting them be molded passively by the world around you. So it's less about rebelling just for the sake of it and more about being true to something, something deeper, something within yourself. Exactly. It's about asking yourself, what do I believe in? And then, and this is the important part, having the courage to live by those beliefs, even and maybe especially when they're not the popular ones. Which makes you wonder, right? What are some of the spirits of the age that we're dealing with right now? Like, what are the things that everyone seems to accept as truth, but that maybe we should be questioning a bit more or maybe even daring to revolt against? And that is the question, isn't it? And it's wow. not one with an easy answer. It's one we each have to wrestle with for ourselves. Yeah, there's no one size fits all answer here. Right. But what this audio clip does so well is it serves as this this call to self-reflection. It's an invitation to look at our own lives, to examine the ways we might be conforming to something that doesn't quite sit right with our deepest values, with our own internal compass. And maybe, just maybe, to find the courage to be different, to forge our own path, even if it means going against the grain, even if it means standing alone. Powerful stuff. Yeah. This deep dive has really given me a lot to think about. What about you? Are there any spirits of the age you're feeling called to question, maybe even revolt against? Let us know. 